With this card right here, you can build credit without a credit check and no social security number. So is this card too good to be true? Let's find out. What's up winners, my name is Nam. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start now by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. So first, let's talk about the company itself. So the reason why this company came about was by the CEOs wanting to create banking for all American residents, immigrants, students, citizens, and pretty much everyone. As we all know, if you don't have a social security number or credit, those determining factors can make it much more challenging to get credit cards, cell phone plans, and even rent an apartment. Now let's hop on the website and break it down a little bit. They say that they're here to help you with the world's fastest and most premium path to financial freedom. I'm not really sure what the premium is, so let's just hope that you're not paying a premium for this. Down below, they show that this is an all-in-one platform. They allow you to get a card for credit building, a bank account, and also a debit card within five minutes. They do this all without a credit history, credit check, and there's no minimum deposit required. You also get unlimited cash back and premium rewards. This is pretty nice because a lot of entry-level banking systems or credit cards really don't offer any of these benefits. This also allows you to get 2% cash back on your favorite brands and also give you 2% cash back match within the first year. Additionally, they give you perks such as car rental insurance and cell phone protection. We will also dive into the fine print a little bit later in the video. They claim that they are also the fastest ones to graduate secure credit cards to unsecured credit cards than anyone else out there. They can graduate you in as little as four months, which is a major perk because you may or may not be aware that there are other secure cards out there that can take up to six months, possibly more than a year to graduate you to an unsecured credit card. So sometimes once you build a credit history, it may be a little bit easier to apply for an unsecured credit card from somewhere else. In the little last corner here, it says that bank like a global citizen. This means that they welcome pretty much anyone if you are a non-citizen in the US, but if you have documentation such as a passport or a visa, you also can still get approved. Additionally, you can send money to over 55 countries cheaper than anywhere else. Now, let's break down the secure card a little bit more. So how a secure card works is usually by putting down a security deposit and that amount will be your credit limit. So for example, let's just say that I were to put down $1,000. This will be my credit limit. So I cannot put more than $1,000 on that card. Whenever you apply for their secure card, there's also no credit check. And they also say that 98% of all people do get approved. Additionally, there's no minimum deposit required. So this means that you get deposit as low as $50, $100, or whatever you feel comfortable with. Now let's break down the benefits of the secure card a bit more. You can get 2% cash back on a lot of subscription services such as Amazon, Netflix, Uber, Hulu, and a few others. You also get an unlimited 1% cash back on other purchases, and also within the first year, they would double your cash back. Other protections are pretty straightforward. There's cell phone damage protection, car rental insurance, a liability policy, price protection, and purchase assurance. So let's go a little bit deeper into the fine print. For cell phone damage protection, the only way this would be covered is if you pay your monthly cell phone bill with the covered card. And it only allows you to have two claims for 12 months, and each claim has a $50 deductible. As for the car rental insurance, this is very basic and it only covers rented vehicles for 15 consecutive days or less. And it only covers physical damage of the car up to $50,000. All this insurance is secondary insurance to your primary. So honestly, if you were to rent a vehicle, I would probably pick a different card. Now you know what's everything that's going for this card, let's break down the application process a little bit further. So if you do have a social security number, they will require it. But if you do not, you would have to have your passport, a US address, and your US visa or non-tourist I-94. So just make sure that you have all those documents before you get started. I do have an affiliate link down in the description that you can use if you'd like to support the channel. If not, it's totally cool. But the easiest way to sign up for Sable is through your phone. Because if you were to do it online, they would just redirect you just to do it on your phone. Setting up is quite easy. It actually took me less than a minute to actually go through it. All you really got to do is just plug in your own personal information, they identify who you are, then approve you. I think this process was quick for me because I'm already a US citizen and have a social security number. So if you are an immigrant or new to the US, it may take up to three days for them to verify your documents. So once you have done that, they will ask you what kind of account do you want. You can have just a checking account or if you want a debit and a credit card account. So since the whole purpose of my channel and this video is to build credit, it is in your best interest to get a credit card account as well. The thing about Sable is that it is a pretty seamless interface and very user friendly. Once you set up your account and transfer some funds, that's when you can start funding your secure credit card account. As I said before, there is no hard cap on this, 
But if you want to reach your graduation milestones, it is best to start off with at least $500 or more. So once you've completed all the necessary steps, you should receive your card within the next 10 business days. But they do also give you virtual cards and you can add it to your Apple Wallet or Google Pay if you want to use it right away. Now that you know that Sable starts you off with a secure card, now let's go a little bit deeper on how you can graduate to an unsecured account much sooner. Like they said, it could be as fast as four months. Here are some of the key things that they look at for graduation. On-time secure card payments every single month, transactions of at least $250 on your secure card every single month, a credit limit of at least $500 on your secure card for at least four months, monthly payroll direct deposits of at least $500 per month of the last four months, and 15 plus transactions on your secure card per month. There may be other factors that are not listed, but these are the main things that they are looking for. So with everything listed, it really comes down to making sure that you pay every single month on time and actually use the account rather than just opening it and just let it sit. As I mentioned before, you can get started with a secured account with a much smaller security deposit, but the ideal number that they want to see is at least $500 or more. Now, once they graduate you to an unsecured credit card, they would then use a risk model to determine how high of a credit limit to give you. But based on their website, the most common amount is probably $2,000. But depending on how you use your credit card and if you meet other criteria, it can be much higher than this but there's no exact numbers that I could find online. Now, this wouldn't be a review unless we compare it to other similar credit builder accounts or unsecured credit cards. All of the comparisons that I will cover will require you to be a US citizen and have a social security number. So if you are new to the US, it's probably best to stick with Sable. The first one that we're gonna talk about will be Chimes Credit Builder. Kind of similar to Sable, you will need to have a Chime spending account before you're eligible for the Credit Builder account. So since Chime is not a bank and a FinTech company, it's kind of like a middleman, kind of like Sable. To get a credit builder account, all you would have to do is move your money from your spending account to your credit builder account and just spend it as you normally would. How balances are paid is a little bit different because whatever expenses that you have with your credit builder account, it will just be paid with the money that's already moved into that account. So essentially, you're just prepaying for your purchases. There's also no credit check if you do decide to get a credit builder account. There's also no annual fees, maintenance fees, international fees, or even interest. So since this is a credit builder account, they do report to all three of the credit bureaus. Our next comparison will be Credit Sesame. They recently just offer a new service called Sesame Cash, which extends to a credit builder account. The way this works is pretty much the same way as a secure card would, but there's no credit check or a security deposit. They also allow you to preset your own credit utilization rate to keep your credit score in the best shape. Now the way this works is by downloading the Credit Sesame app, enrolling in Sesame Cash, and then funding your account. Then once you're there, all you would have to do is allocate some cash towards a credit line, which becomes a refundable security deposit. The way that they report things are a little bit different than tallying all of your expenses for that month and then reporting it to the credit bureau. For example, let's just say that you have a credit limit of $500 on your Sesame Cash account, and you set your utilization at 10%. Credit Sesame then would gather all of your small purchases and total them up to $50 or less and then report that amount to the credit bureaus. Again, with this account, it is also 100% free and there's also no credit check. Now the next account that we will be talking about will be the Discover It Secure Card. Discover is already one of the big players in the credit card space and they do also offer a secure card. The thing about this card is that they will do a hard inquiry on your credit report and also require a social security number. But the key differences with Discover is that this is a very tried and true way of building credit. So typically after eight months of responsibly using your card, they can then graduate you to an unsecured card. In that case, you would just get your security deposit back and also get a credit limit increase. Plus you can also keep this card for life to continue building your credit. So before attempting to apply for FinTech companies that offer credit builders, I would honestly try to go for the traditional route first. So when it's all said and done, I think that Sable's credit builder is actually a pretty legitimate product. There are not that many companies out there that help individuals without a social security number or new residents trying to build credit. I think that's a game changer. The only thing about Sable is that they want you to use them as a primary source of banking. They want you to have direct deposits and use a credit account as much as possible. Without that, it's gonna take much longer to graduate to an unsecured card, and that's what you really want. But alternatively, if you are a US citizen and have a social security number, but new to credit, I'd probably start off with a traditional route, such as getting the Discover One card or another secure card from one of the big major credit card companies. This is a surefire way of building credit, plus you can keep your account for life. I'm not saying that you can't keep Sable or any of the other FinTech forever either, but since they are newer, it is harder to say to look at the longevity of them. What are your thoughts on Sable? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to hang out with me some more and learn more about credit, check out these videos over here.